For the first time throughout the history of the Arab-Israeli conflict, the Israeli warplanes attacked the Yemeni port of Hodeida. Local sources reported the killing of six people and injuring of more than 80. Israeli officials justified this aggression as retribution of more than 100 attacks of Houthi on them. This report has more details. Israeli military forces have launched a series of strikes on several Houthi targets in western Yemen. Officials said they hit a number of military targets in Hodeida, a Houthi stronghold, in response to hundreds of attacks against Israel in recent months. The Israeli defense minister said that the Houthis attacked them over 200 times. The first time that they harmed an Israeli citizen, they have struck the Houthis and they threatened to do this in any place where it may be required. The strikes appear to be Israel's first on Yemeni soil since the Israeli conflict began last October. Houthi officials claim the strikes targeted fuel storage facilities and a power station, with the Sana'a Ministry of Health reporting 80 wounded and many with severe burns. Houthi spokesman denounced the blatant Israeli aggression, warning of impactful strikes in retaliation. The rebel control TV reported death and injuries and widespread power cuts following the attacks. Yemeni health officials confirmed facilities and injuries from the strikes but didn't provide specific numbers. The Israeli aggression on Hodeida port has resulted in the killing of at least six people and wounding 87, a day after a drone launched by the Houthis hit the Israeli economic hub in Tel Aviv. Most of the wounded suffered severe burns and air strikes that targeted oil facilities and a power station. Hodeida residents said that explosions were heard throughout the city during an intensive bombardment and civil defense forces were trying to extinguish fire in the port's oil tanks. Israel's military spokesperson said the port had been used by the Houthis to receive weapons shipments from Iran. The targets more than 1,700 kilometers from Israel included dual sites such as energy infrastructure. As the war in Gaza has gone on, the Houthis have stepped up attacks against Israel and Western targets, saying they are acting in solidarity with the Palestinians. The developments in Yemen came at a time when it seemed that the truce deal in Gaza was awaiting the visit of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to Washington, where he plans to hold a meeting with President Joe Biden and deliver a speech before Congress in a step that may be decisive before the deal is approved.